and I hope to see you down the road in another video. Oh, there he is. What's up, fisher people? I'm back the following day. Today was supposed to be a little calmer, and I think it's still going to lay down maybe this afternoon, but first thing this morning, it's still pretty blustery. So my original plan was to get out the lead core, cover some water, expecting fish to be deeper and more scattered. But with this wind blowing, and finding some pods of fish, I'm gonna get out the jig wrap again. Good old purple descent, number nine. Let's see if we can't put some jig wrap fish in the boat again. Cause that was fun yesterday. We got some big ones. Maybe today we can get some more bites if possible. This little pod, I got some good marks. Thought maybe I'd get a quick one. While I'm talking, hasn't happened yet, but I've only been fishing for 60 seconds. So I suppose I could give it a little more time and have a little patience, huh? I'll let you know if I catch anything. How about that? There's a fish. Pitching out a little deeper there. Off the shelf. I'm in 19, 20 feet of water. I was casting out probably to 25. Popped it right on that brake line. Feels like a decent one. Yeah, that's a good fish. Staying down good. Oh, squirrely. Squirrely, squirrely, squirrely. I like to turn that kicker off, but the waves are kind of kicking my butt. It's a good fish. It is a very nice start. If we can get him in. Yeah. That's a nice fish. That's a nice one. I felt him bite it as that jig and wrap was dropping and then reeled down and just smacked the hook. Set it right in the corner of the mouth. Turn the kicker off for a little bit. Spot lock. Good way to start the day. Might even think about keeping some fish. Yeah, I'll throw that one back though to start with. See ya, buddy. I've been a great eater, right at 18 inches. Nice start. Hmm. Well, the jig and wrap bite kind of died, so I got out of the leg core. Not what I was looking for. Do I have another fish on that one? I might. I was just banging on bottom because I slowed down a little bit and allowed the lead core to drop, but it almost looks fishy. I'll check it out in a second. Speed up a little bit and see what happens. White bass, but I lost my wobble. That's how you know. The bait's not wobbling, something's on there. Weed garbage. We'll clean that off and get back to it. I don't think this is a white bass. This has got a little more heaviness, making some good runs, staying down. This could be a nice eye. Still staying down. Still staying down. Keep it out of that motor. Oh, don't want to come up here. 14 feet. Looking kind of pikey. It's either a pike or a really big walleye. It's a big pike. Woof. Holy cow. That's a beast. 
That's a beast pike. Jeez. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Just don't get in a motor or something. Stay out of motors and we'll be okay. Oh goodness. That's a freaking huge pipe. This is something you'll run into trolling crankbaits, obviously. Gotta be super careful with these fish. Oh, freaking A. If you're a pike lover, there you go. That's upper 30s to 40. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. See ya. Oh. Well, not what I was after, but that was a riot. I don't know if I'll keep doing crankbaits or not. We'll see. I'll get reset up here and think about it a little bit. There we got another fish on the jig wrap. It's gotten calm and I got some other people in this spot here. Well, it's like a little quiet. I think it's a decent fish. Yeah. It's a decent one. Ate that sucker. Whew. Well, the weather report said it was going to calm down. And it certainly did. And there's some piles of marks down there. It's been harder to get the fish to bite once it got calm, but hopefully I can get a few in here. Marking plenty of them. I switched to pulling slow death crawlers while I'm doing the jigger up thing because Things just kind of settled down a little bit. And my shoulder was getting a little tired, so I took a rest while I was eating lunch and uh, had one fish on that broke my line, which was weird. I don't think it was a pike, I think it was a walleye, but maybe the line was just frayed from a snag or something. And I had another bite I missed while I was trying to put on bliss stacks. <laughs> Surprising, they usually don't get off of the slow death, but that one did. So, we're just working it. Turn it into kind of a nice calm day here, although fishing wise, it's less than exciting when that wind drops. But, uh, had another almost on in the jig wrap right after the other miss or the other catch, but it just didn't stay buttoned. So, We'll work these fish for a little bit, see what we can do. Try to stay out of this other guy's way. There's another hookup. It's hard to get this around my other line. <laughs> In the back of the motor, feels like another, this one's probably bigger than the last one. If I can get it in here. Terrible camera angle, unfortunately. Terrible camera angle. Not really boat foot material, but I'll uh, pull them in. That's probably a fat 16 and a half. Didn't feel like getting that jigging wrap caught up in the net again. Had that happen too much. That was kind of funny. I uh, I had decided to reel in and turn around and I had made my last pop and then started reeling and he hit it on the reel. That's kind of a first for me. I mean, I'm, I don't know why they can't do that. <laughs> Obviously this one did. Just never experienced that before. 
This guy's hooked good. I'm gonna do some surgery and catch you later. As much as I like to catch these fish trolling crawlers right now and save my shoulder the exhaustion, I'm just not getting the bites doing it. There's a, this other boat here says they're catching them on crawlers, but I don't know, maybe I need a spinner instead of playing slow death today, but I had both out. I was not getting bit, so this was at least getting bites. They be getting some nice ones up shallow though, and I might throw up there. Probably 15 to 20 feet anyway. I'd like to get a nicer one. I always like nicer ones. Come on, girl. Eat it. Eat it. There's a nice pot of them out there on the side image. I know they've been catching them there, so I had to try. How long before my shoulder falls off, though? There we got another hookup. Feels like another quality fish. Bring it around to the side here. Maybe get a little fish action in the water. There he is. Fat. Fat chunker. Not the piggies like yesterday. Don't have the same weather conditions. Not quite as extreme. But we're getting fish. We're catching. Oh, look at that pile of fish down there. Holy cow. Holy cow. Better pitch back there. See if we can get some of them. As many as there are down there, one would think I'd be able to get a bite. That was a good pile of marks. The last few bites I've gotten with just slight misdirections and changes in my pull almost starting to reel it in sideways or something. Erraticness, unpredictability, mesmerizes the fish. Come on, baby. Let's get another one here quick. Let's get another one quick. Nothing's happening quick today. Today is slow, steady. Which can be expected this time of year. So, Probably shouldn't have expected another bite right away. I'll keep you updated. Finally a bite on the crawler and bouncer. Been a while, holy cow. Holy cow. I got a jigging her out dragging behind me. That's probably not a good thing. Don't want to get that snagged up. Whew. Got it. It'd be sweet to get a quick double here. Bottom monster, then jig wrap, right? Come on. Make it happen, Captain. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Got slow this afternoon. It's almost three o'clock. And if I don't get a bite on this jigger up pretty soon, I think I'm probably gonna call it a day, head in. Not getting a lot of marks to fire off this afternoon, so. Hope you liked the video. Hope you hit the like button. Hope maybe you subscribe. And I hope to see you down the road in another video. Oh, there he is. Good timing. Good timing. Just as I was closing this out, that's fun. Get this bottom monster out of the way. Guess we're not done.
guess we're not done yet. Oh, feels like a decent fish too. Fun closeout, right? Huh. Huh. Stay button, baby. Stay on them jig wrap hooks so we can show you off to the GoPro. Come here, buddy. Ooh, there's a glare this afternoon. That's difficult. Getting squirrely down here. Getting squirrely. Getting squirrely. Getting really squirrely. Must be a nice fish. I'm trying to maintain pressure without over pulling. Yeah, nice eye. Nice eye. Maybe the best of the day. Save the best for last. <laughs> yeah. I like that kind of ending. I do. So as I was saying, like, subscribe, enjoy the action. Should do a nice little pose here, right? Got a nice light angle and all that kind of stuff. Nice fish. Nice fish. See ya. There's some more marks down there. Maybe they're turning on. Maybe we're going to undo this whole Let's close out this video. If I can get my jig wrap out of my net. Just when you thought it was over, you thought you had enough of me, you thought it was done. One more fish had to just sneak up in there. And I saw some more marks, so I'm gonna give it, what? One more cast? That was one. One more. We'll throw one more back there. Another one of those. Hold up. It ain't over yet. <laughs> it's always fun when stuff like that happens. That makes my day. You never know. Anyway, all the like, subscribe stuff, yada, yada. See you in another video. My arm is just so tired from this jig wrap today. I did it pretty hard yesterday. Was not gonna do it much today and wound up doing it 70% of today. So I don't know how much more I got in me if I had fish that were willing to play along. But let's assume this is the end. And I will bid you farewell, though I am going to cast one more time. And if I can.